Hi everyone. This wasn't from a boot sale by the way. Um, show you what it is. Maybe to guess. There's the base. It's an unusual base. Well, when I say unusual, it's a base that I don't think was ever used in America. Uh, and in England, possibly found on radio or wireless sets which were imported from the continent. It's a continental side contact. It only fits in one way and it goes into like a recessed holder. It's possibly German origin, I don't know, but it's definitely, if you see radios from the continent, often or not the valves will have that type of base. We look a bit closer, we may be able to get the etch and that on it. It's made by Philips type and you got a number there 4687X there's also I don't know if it's going to show up it might do it might not there's a little symbol there which might come up I don't know we can but hope. I'll read it out anyhow so you know what it is. It says it's in, in a little octagon BAL 19 and it looks like 48 1948 it's either 48 or 43 I think it's 48 and underneath you've got another number uh, 33 stroke 42 Right, I could put it up as a question, what is it? I won't. Um, some of you might remember me telling a little anecdote that when I was younger, I got a hold of a beehive neon, normal shape, everything looked the same, except it had a valve base. It was either a four pin or a seven pin, I, that I do not remember. Obviously it only uses the two pins. Well I thought I was clever. I screwed a couple of, a couple of pieces of wire on it and plugged it into the mains, turned the mains on, there was an almighty bang, the bulb smashed. I was bitterly disappointed. But I learnt a lesson. Neon bulbs invariably have resistors in them, and if they don't, then you don't put them on the mains. But was it a lighting lamp? No. It was actually a regulator um, used in not every radio set, um, but they were used in some, as Berettas were used in some. But these were used to keep the voltage constant. It acted as a voltage regulator. I'm not going to go into any more details. But that's what it did. At a certain point it struck when, when the lamp itself started to glow. That's the striking voltage and that was the voltage which it was supposed to keep it at. And as you see they were both the English form which was in the normal bulb shape and the continental or German type, German or Dutch, was in the shape of a tubular lamp. But it's neon gas in there. But anyhow, that's as I say. Don't know if we've had one, one of those on YouTube. I don't think so. I haven't put one of these up. But for for, for just general interest, anyone interested in these um, uh, beehive lamps, I, I, I give the German name as well because if you look it up on the German eBay, it is very interesting. They have a good selection of radio valves or tubes. 
and radio so you know have a little look it's it is quite interesting you can get onto it you just put ebay de and up it comes and you sign on as normal if you want to use it and you can and i have bought quite a few bits and bobs off of it including some of the early telephones the w48 which was their old one beautiful looking sets I remember seeing that in one of the James Bond films. I think it was um, the one where the girl had a spike in her, f in her shoe. I th yeah, Russia with Love, I think it was called. Well, anyhow, they depicted some of those in that film. Anyhow, I'm blurbing on, so I'm going to stop. Once again, any comments, please make. Oh, by the way, if you do try to light this up, please, 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 wire it in series with a low wattage lamp use a variac or something like that don't put it straight on the mains it'll end up the fate of the one i had anyhow thanks for watching any comments please make please subscribe and i'll get back to you hopefully with an answer might not be but anyhow any questions please ask thank you for watching thank you